Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to New Zor Education. Um, uh, we are about uh, to uh, explain another very, very short topic. Um, how one particular trigonometric function, in this case it's second, behaves uh, for basic angles. Now, the basic angles are like 30 degree, 45 degree, etc. So I will list them here and I will derive the value of the second for these um, angles. And I will do it very easily because by definition of the second, that's 1 over cosine of x. So if I know the cosine for these basic angles, I can very easily find what's the uh, second. So uh, basic angles, 0 radians, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and pi over 2, which is 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. So, What's the value of my cosine? Well, for 0 it's 1, if you remember. For uh, pi over 6, 30 degrees, that's a cosine. So it's uh, square root of 3 over 2. This is square root of 2. This is 1 half. And this is 0. So, great. What's my second in this case? Well, 1 over, 1 over 1 is 1. This is 2 over square root of 3, which is equal to, uh, I prefer actually to have the square root operation in the numerator. That's how it's traditional. So I will multiply by square root of 3 both. So it's 2 square root of 3 over 3. Now, this is reverse, so it's 2 over square root of 2, which is equal to, that's interesting, if you multiply by square root of 2, you will have 2 square root of 2 over 2, so it's square root of 2. Now, this is 2, and this is doesn't exist, because the cosine is equal to 0, that's the denominator. Now, um, cosine is an even function. That makes second even function. If it's even function, the value of negative angles is exactly the same as positive. And also, you know that 2 pi is a period, so you can always add 2 pi to uh, any angle. And that's how you can derive basically to um, any, any nice angle around the circle. Um, what might also help is that the cosine of x plus pi is equal minus cosine of x, and that makes exactly the same rule. That th that's why it makes exactly the same rule for a second. So you can always add pi or 180 degree to an angle. So all these nice angles can be derived, and the values uh, can be derived from these. Um, that's it. It's a very short lecture. Again, my purpose was to explain how the second. Uh, behaves in, in these major angles. Um, and uh, the only thing which is left, I think I've covered everything except cosecond, which will be the next lecture. So thanks very much for listening to me today. And uh, so next is a cosecond. Thank you.